All right, <clears throat> Tuesday's tip. We're going to talk about drawing out. And what that means is if you have a piece of metal and you draw it out, what you're going to do is make it longer. You'll, you'll lose a little bit of space in the side. And what we teach people is it's, when using hammers, that drawing out is the cow pile method. You got a cow pile <coughs> and you hit it right in the middle with a flat hammer. It's just like throwing a rock. You threw a rock in the middle of a cow pile, it's going to go everywhere, probably on your feet everything. <clears throat> Take another cow pile and you throw a log across it, which is the same as doing, we'll say it this way, throw a log across it, which is the same as taking a, a uh, cross beam and hitting it this way. So if you throw a log across it, what's going to happen? It's going to send cow piles that way and that way. So same thing's going to happen with metal. If you hit metal flat, you're basically going to send the metal out every direction. You hit it with something like a log. They'll call it a fuller. You can use a fuller like this. And you put in there, and you put your piece in, and you hit it, and it'll drive it in and out. You hit it with the fuller, I mean the uh, cross beam of your hammer will drive it lengthwise. You'll see people that will draw out on the, the horn of the anvil here because that's curved. It's just a really wide curved version of the cross beam. So if you actually put it over that and, oops, let me get back here, you put it over that and use cross paint, you're getting it forward from both sides, drawing it out. <clears throat> and that's the first step in just about every project you do. And um, that's the first step you do in every project in blacksmithing. So I'm going to heat up some metal and we're going to just draw the end of it out. And it's going to, not drawing with a pen, but draw it out lengthwise. And we'll take the end like this and since blacksmithing is only moving metal, it'll, it'll come out to a point by pushing all this metal into these inner parts. Because that's blacksmithing, you move metal, you don't destroy it. Some of it comes off, so it's a generalization. I'll heat up a piece of metal and show you. So on the end here, I'm flattening it. Now a small piece like this, you can just do it on the ends, but to really draw it out, I use my fuller. You always want to make it round, uh, go from square, round stock, doesn't matter what stock you use, you always want to make it square before you go round. Draw them out square and then go round. <coughs> so what I like to do a lot of times is hold it on the edge and draw it out. Draw it out. Because what I'm doing is I'm using this as my pin here. And I don't have so much metal touching the anvil, sucking the heat out. And you can see I'm pushing that metal further on out. To the point. And to give you more of an idea, I'll do it here in the middle. Use that.
Turn it 90 degrees at a time. And there I have um, drawn out in the center, so I've stretched it out this way. And I'll show you an example of the other way with the cow power where it just flattens it out versus stretching it. But everything you do, especially on your ends, it's going to be dealing with ends like finials like this. This is a piece of half inch round stock. And I'm just going to isolate a chunk on the end here. And I'm hit it flat with the flat of the hammer. And it's sending metal that way, that way, that way. Probably not much that way because it's hitting the other metal, but it's flattening it and it's widening it, but it's also lengthening it. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to heat it back up. So say I don't want this to go that way. I don't want it going out. I just want to go this way and this way, or that way. So I'd use my peen crossways this way. Hitting in the middle, then working my way out, hitting the middle, working my way out. And then when I'm ready, I flatten it with this part. Take my marks out. So you see, I haven't gone out much that way, it's all gone widthwise. <coughs> Drawing it out. So get you some metal and just practice drawing this way. <coughs> Drawing this way, and later on I'll show you a tip with a leaf, how to make a leaf, because you use drawing out, isolating it, which is drawing it out in a way, and also um, cross painting to spread the leaf. Thanks for watching, drawing out. Have a blessed day.